same day, same stuff. I'm just recording a video for today, which for tomorrow, which is today actually, because I'm not. Do, I have to do stuff tomorrow. Today, well, it's confusing. Anyway, uh, this is a pre-recorded video. That's all I gotta say. Technically, aren't all videos pre-recorded? Never mind. Uh, I'm just giving my. Uh, I don't. I didn't know a topic. I just want to talk about something. Something, something on spot. Something on spot. All my videos are going to be unedited, so you get the raw, the raw emotion. No, I'm just, I'm joking. I'm playing. I'm playing. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Give me my. Should I? Should I do this? I'm giving my top ten players of all time, starting from ten, going to one. Um, and number ten, he just died, and he is a hundred percent a legend. But I don't have him that high because even though he was the greatest winner of all time, it's not even close. No one has as many rings as you know it's Bill Russell. And here's why. Here's why. He played in a league with 10 teams. and Or 10 to 12 teams at a time. And I know that sounds stupid. 11 rings, 5 MVPs. Probably would have had every, every defensive player of the year. Yeah, I know. I know. But here's the thing. Um... When you play in such a, a league that's so watered down with, not watered down per se, but has so little teams, I can't put you, you're on the top 10 still because you won 11 rings. And honestly, people are, I think he's just going to remain on my top 10, even if someone reaches into it, because I can't take him off. He's at a purgatory 10 forever. You know what? I'll move him up on my list for now. At real number 10... It's a hard one, but I got it's. Mm, I don't know. I don't know because there's a lot of good players. Uh, Bill Russell's not my ten anymore. Not my tenth, the greatest, tenth greatest player ever anymore to me. Um, and number ten is the greatest power forward ever, Tim Duncan. That's who I should really think. Um, I don't know. Two MVPs, a lot of championships. Yeah. Uh, and number nine. A lot of people are going to hate me. But, come on. It's Kobe. Kill me. Kill me. I'm sorry. Look, Kobe's a great player. But, a little overrated. Because he played Michael, Michael and judged his jaw every time he shot a shot. Uh, Kobe was not the best player on all the championship teams. He was the best player on two of them. Right? Shaq just absolutely dominated that. So... Yeah, I got to have Kobe at 9, Tim at 10. Because people who say Tim's not a top 10 player, you're any one of these guys could be one of the, the greatest players of all time to me. That's that. Obviously, it's in a tier list type thing. But obviously, Tim could go up from 3, no, nah, from 4 to 10, they're interchangeable. I, I That's my opinion. From 4 to 10, they're interchangeable. And number 8, I got, this is where I got Bill Russell. Um, same reasons I said before. Kobe, so yeah. Tim Duncan, I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, again, from four to ten, it's interchangeable. So if you want, if you if you're mad at me and you say, oh, but Tim's top number four, you can put Tim number four. I don't care. These are interchangeable to me. I don't really care where these guys are placing. I'm just placing them. Number seven, I got Stephon Curry. Man, that dude, he's different, right? Right, Steph, Steph, Steph's different, bro. Ah, dang. Yeah, Bill at eight, Steph at seven. Bro, five, four rings, one Finals MVP, two MVPs, greatest shooter ever. Changed the entire game of basketball. Again, if you think Steph's ten, you can say he's ten. I won't argue with you. Again, four to ten is interchangeable. <coughs> at number six, I got Shaquille O'Neal. Um. I don't know. Shaq's just really dominant. Uh, if we're talking about... Oof. Yeah. I've changed my opinion. Hakeem is great, but he's not better than Shaq. I'm just going to be 100% honest. I was thinking about that recently. I had gotten into a lot of arguments about it. And the more I think about it, Shaq had the greatest peak in NBA history. I... Greatest, like, four, three, four, five-year peak ever. And I can't overlook that just because Hakeem is more skilled. Hakeem had the better overall. No, he didn't. He didn't. I'm just going to be honest. Shaq at six. 
And number five, I got Larry Bird. Yeah, Larry Bird's top five to me, baby. Not baby. None of you are my baby. None of you are my girl. <laughs> I don't even have a girl. <laughs> I'm lonely. That's why I do this. <laughs> anyway, um, no, nah, I do this because I like it. I, I, I really like talking about basketball. So, And number five, I got Larry Bird. Uh, three MVPs. Three or four rings. It's like, I think four rings in ten years. Or three rings in ten years. Really good. He only played ten years because of back problems. But, yeah. At number four, I got Magic Johnson. Greatest point guard ever. What can I say? I was saying Steph for a while, but I completely forgot that Magic won three MVPs, five championships. Like, completely changed the game. Again, people talk about Steph changing the game. Magic changed that thing, too, by allowing people above the height of 6'3 to handle the ball. <laughs> At number three, I got Kareem. Pretty much, these are the lock spots for the top three. Um, it goes one, two, and three. They're locked. They're locked for me. Uh, they will never, they'll never be interchangeable unless someone comes out and wins 30 champions. Number three, I got Kareem. Probably the greatest basketball player. Not NBA player. Basketball player ever. He won, what, like six, seven MVPs? Seven or something. Six or, yeah, he won six MVPs, bro. Six! He had three finals MVPs. He won six rings. Same as Jordan. He was the most dominant center of all time. Like, Shaq was dominant. No. People forget to mention Kareem literally ran bat the basketball world from the time he was in high school to the end of his career, essentially. Kareem won a lot of national titles, a lot of college titles. He was the greatest. He won three college titles, if I'm not mistaken, like four national titles, along with six NBA titles. That's the greatest basketball player, not NBA. NBA basketball are two holy greatest. That's not the best. He's the greatest basketball, not the greatest NBA player. At number two, I got LeBron James. Ten finals appearances, four. He won four of them. I don't care what you say. The man with the ten eight straight NBA finals. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. A lot of haters hate on him because he's compared to Jordan. Okay? He's a top three player of all time. They can all be compared. You literally, people who hate on LeBron are either insecure about their favorite player, right? Think Michael Jordan's the GOAT, no matter what. And they just don't... I've seen NBA, like, analysts and NBA YouTubers. These guys actually know the game of basketball. Like, I'm looking at Legend of Winning. I'm looking at T, T B Souls and TSO Sage. TSO Sage, whatever you want to call them. I'm looking at these basketball YouTubers who know their stuff. And even they're like, okay, if you say LeBron's the greatest, I'm not going to kill you for it. These guys think Michael Jordan's the greatest. That's the kind of fan I like, you know? The fan that doesn't hate on LeBron because they're a Mike stand, Or doesn't hate on Mike because they're a LeBron. doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I mean, LeBron's second race player. He's about to have the most points in NBA history. Most playoff points. Holds a lot of playoff records. That dude's insane. Anyway, at number one, you already know who it was going to be. Carmelo Anthony. No, I'm joking. It's it's Michael Jordan. It's Michael Jordan. I mean, what, what can I say about the dude? Six for six in the finals. Defensive player of the year. Five, six, five MVPs? Five? <laughs> 13 years in the league. Went. Let's be honest. He was 15 years in the league. Oh. Yes, he almost won 50%. He, 50 percent of his career, essentially, he won a title. Like half of his career, he was in the finals. Uh, bro's insane. I don't even. I don't know, man. I, he, top like top three scorer of all time. Top five most skilled player of all time. Top five defender of all time, in my opinion. Yeah, Michael Jordan's a, one of the best defenders ever. He's one of only, like, what, three, four guards to win the Defensive Player of the Year? You know how hard it is to win a Defensive Player of the Year as a guard? Don't even get me started on Marcus Smart. <laughs> one of the worst, not one of the worst, one of the better ones, but... 
Yeah, Michael Jordan, he had a dang near perfect career. And don't bring up first round exits, because that's that's the argument Braun fans use. He got eliminated in the first round, like every year. Okay, Braun got eliminated in the first round. But yeah, but it took him like 20 years to do. Okay, stop bringing up first round exits. Oh no. An all time great who had a trash team to begin with was getting eliminated in the first round? Crazy. He had to go up against the Bad Boy Pistons. Crazy. Crazy, right? Crazy to think that a team going with only one actual player who can ball out, going up against the best team in basketball at that point, gets eliminated by them in the first round. It's crazy. It's all it's like they were elbowing him and clotheslining him at the... You know what? I'm not going to get into this because me and my best friend... My best friend thinks Braun's a go. I think Mike's a go. I'm not getting into this because I get heated every time. Because <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I can't say that. I can't say that. That's personal stuff, but... <laughs> He got mad at me because I pulled out the 6 for 6 card. I don't know. 6 for 6. 6 finals MVPs. I said it. You watching this video. You, my, my best friend watched this video. You know what I'm talking about. The talk we had. Mexico.